three things you're gonna to wanna to add to your Photoshop workflow for 2025. You might wanna save this video. First up is Adobe's Firefly Model 3, which helped me turn this into this. And this one is actually pretty simple. We're just gonna open up Photoshop beta and then we're going to drag an image in. So I got this image from Midjourney and I use this prompt to make it. Now that we're in Photoshop, we're just gonna to go to menu, then we're gonna to go to edit and then generative workspace. That's gonna bring up this window right here. And from here, you're just gonna type in the prompt describing pretty much what you wanna see, whether it's an object or a background, but you want it to be something that's gonna blend with your image. All right, so now we're gonna hit generate and we're just gonna see what this comes up with. And this is what we got. So I'm gonna go with this image right here. And now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna click style reference. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna pop this image down into this prompt bar right here. And now you know it can be loaded to use for your next generation. After that, we're gonna open the same photo that you just opened up in Photoshop. And you're gonna just hit generate and you're gonna let the image be combined through this AI prompt. And just like that, now you have a whole bunch of new images to choose from and you can keep regenerating or generate similar or different things like that. Once you figure out which image you wanna use, you're just gonna go over here to add to, and then you're gonna add this into the file that you already opened. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring the image into Photoshop and it's gonna add it right on top of the image that you already had in there. So now you got an image on top of an image that you can now edit and either use generative fill or you can use your Photoshop skills to actually elevate this image and turn it into something different. So I use this method to take this image and generate it more and more and use some Photoshop as well and turn it into this. So you can actually just keep building on top of the image and turn it into something that's a whole new masterpiece. And this is just the Model 3 version. So we have different versions that are gonna be coming out um we like i'm with adobe there are different versions that are going to be coming out so stay tuned for that and understand that this is only going to get better up next is project blend this is coming out in photoshop or adobe in general soon so we don't know really for sure when it's going to come out but adobe released this not too long ago and they were talking about the different aspects of how you're going to be able to blend an image to another image just using AI. So this is gonna be cutting out the middleman of the color correction and all those different things that I do sometimes just to prep an image to be into a composition when using Photoshop. As you see right here, these are some of the things that Adobe released. You can turn this image into that image. I mean, and it's just in the click of a button or you can take an image like this, you're bringing two people to a table and you're making them look like they're seamlessly there. And these are images taken from like cell phones and stuff like that. So imagine people with different cell phones, different qualities of imagery, and now you'll be able to blend it into this one masterpiece that you can start to edit from there. This is streamlining the workflow that we have to do for color correction and quality and all that different stuff. Okay, don't forget where we started with a collection of photos taken with different cameras under different lightings at different places. So in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this Project Blend one because it is kind of eliminating some of the things we have to do. So some may think this tech is going too far, but I'm thinking, look, it's speeding up my workflow. It's just going to make me more efficient designer. What do you think? Last on the list is parametric filters. So this is in Photoshop beta as well, and it has a lot of potential. So let's bring an image into beta, and we're just going to bring it here. And to access this in Photoshop beta, we're going to go to filter and then parametric filters. And as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can look through. But the one I want to talk about right now is the embroidery. So this is where you can actually make mockups or turn pretty much any logo or image into an embroidered image and use this in a whole bunch of different ways for marketing and branding. So I'm going to take a logo like this that I just kind of created real quick. And this is without changing any parameters. So let's see if we can click around here and change some stuff. And just like that, look, I just clicked around on a few different buttons and we have this as a final image. If I zoom out here, now we have a mock-up or something that you can use in a whole bunch of different ways. Now, this is not the only filter in there. There's also this oil paint filter right here. 
And look, this is giving you legit actual oil painting looking like stuff. I know that probably didn't make sense as a sentence, but as someone that used to do oil painting, this is looking pretty legit. And once this goes into regular Photoshop again, it's going to just be streamlining your process even more or you just download beta and keep going from there. So as you see, these are three things that I think will be really good adding to your workflow in 2025 for Photoshop. They have more coming and I'm going to be adding these as well as the others. I'll drop some more videos as they come out. Tech is moving pretty fast right now. But let me know in the comments again what you think. Like, subscribe. I got some more info and different things coming. That's all I got for right now. It's Jay. Last on the list, last on the list is param. Last on the list, last on the list. And as you see, you can turn. I hope I wasn't holding on to the mic. I'm gonna get better and better. And we're eventually gonna get into an all in one stop place. And this, and this is exactly with no, and this is without removing any, and this is out, and this is without changing any parameters. So, this is just straight out the package. This is exact.